In this video, we will implement an example RESTful API that manages a simple resource. Let's say we want to implement an API for managing a blog. The blog entries are a resource that we want to manage. We need to create, update, list, and sometimes even remove them. Having all the routing mechanisms, we can easily implement correct mapping of HTTP requests to handlers. Something else that we need is JSON support which we will implement on the go. Let's put our blog-oriented stuff into another namespace for more readability. First, we need to define our business logic and the place to store blog entries. For now, we'll simply store blog entries in memory. In addition to storing blog entries, we'll also use another Atom to generate unique sequence IDs. The business logic knows nothing of the ring request or happiness. It just manipulates blog entries. Before we implement some actual handlers, we need to take care of handling the JSON format. As writing JSON parses generators is a little too complex for this video, we will use the standard closure data JSON library. Let's add it to the dependencies defined in project CLG file. Having business logic defined and JSON library connected, we can now provide ring handlers to respond to ring requests. First, we will define three helper functions, one to output the JSON response correctly, another to parse the JSON request body in case of post and put invocations, and finally a function to retrieve and parse the ID argument from the root parameters provided by the routing function. The parsing function will also use the closure work keyword I keys functions to make the JSON input data more closure friendly. You don't have to worry about de keywordizing closure maps when generating JSON. The closure data JSON takes care of that automatically, converting all the keywords to strings. With the helper functions in place, we can finally define the actual handlers, each for every business logic function. Please observe how JSON structures convert almost seamlessly to closure maps and collections. After that, we can finally define our root handler with the previously defined routing mechanism. With the block handlers ready, we can connect them to our main handler. As the block handler is just another function, we can nest it inside of another root routing call. Let's see our block handlers in action. First, we will start the ring development server. Even though the JSON format is human readable, we will use serial to invoke each endpoint more easily than from a browser. I will also use the JSON reformat command for more readability. It is only for the purposes of this video. You don't have to install or use it, although it may come in handy. First, let's create some blog entries. Please note that we are using the content type header to specify that we are providing JSON data in the request. Next, let's list our blog entries. We have received a JSON array in return. We can also access individual entries or update them. And finally, even remove them. We have implemented our first RESTful API with Clojure and tested it using CRL. Please note that in real-life APIs, 
It might be feasible to abstract the handlers from the JSON format using the appropriate middleware, for example, ring middleware format available on GitHub. Finally, in the next video, we will see how to handle errors that in a way appropriate to the RESTful API.